auto configuration is a crucial part of the Spring Boot framework because it allows Spring Boot applications to run out of the box with little to no configuration. Even though Spring Boot does a good job of abstracting away its inner workings, it's still a good idea for developers to understand how things work under the hood. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what Spring Boot auto configuration means. Spring Boot auto configuration attempts to automatically configure the Spring Boot application based on the dependencies that you've added. Let's take, for example, my application here. This is a web application and I've added a Spring Boot starter web dependency. This dependency comes bundled with a Tomcat dependency as well. So when I run my application, Spring Boot is going to check if there's an embedded server dependency on the class path. And since the Tomcat one exists, it's going to run my application in Tomcat. Now, this is made possible because if we look at this Spring Boot application annotation, it also includes this annotation called Enable Auto Configuration, and that's what makes all of this possible. So let's run my application and see what happens. So we can see that the application started inside the Tomcat embedded server. Another example of auto configuration other than the embedded server is this logging that we're seeing here. So when I created this app, I did not configure any logging. This login dependency is also bundled with this title web dependency. So you can see it here, logging. So that's why when I ran this, the logs are automatically generated. So I didn't have to go and try and configure the login dependencies and try and see which type of logging library I want to use. Of course, now if I wanted to tweak this and choose the login library or um, increase the granularity of the logs here, maybe I want to go from info to debug, then I could do that. But just coming out of the box, this logging is already configured. A main advantage of having this auto configuration enabled is that now as a developer, you don't have to focus on trying to configure all these separate elements of your app, configuring logging, configuring the server, configuring security. As long as they are on your class path, then Spring Boot will automatically pick them up. You can focus on coding and then just tweaking those uh, libraries or features as needed. All right, now let's see what happens when we disable auto configuration. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to take these two annotations, Spring Boot, configuration, and component scan, and I'm going to exclude auto configuration. So let me delete this here and add those two. So right now the app is running and let me stop it and rerun it. And you see now we have an error because now auto configuration has been disabled and we haven't configured what needs to be configured in the application. So Spring is not doing any configuration for us now. Now we have to do it all on our own. 